Nigeria, my country. What a nation. <laughs> what a nation, Nigeria. I don't know whether these people, uh, whether they really want to make this country better, or maybe this country not with their own. Uh, because if it's actually your country, you would have do, do everything humanly possible to make the country better. And yeah, but they are not doing that. All they keep doing is to make sure that this country enter more than depression. Eh? The country is depressed. It's depressed. I travel around the world and I've seen citizens of countries how they make sure or how they do their best yeah, to make sure so their country better. Everything, any technological advancement, anything when they see for other people country, when go feel better their country, they go bring a call. Why? To better their own, their own country. But my own country not be like that. To hell. What they keep doing in this country is to dig holes. To bore holes into the, into, into the country. The nation are not scattered. Nation not depressed. Some of you will be wondering, enter, wait till you see again. Eh? I go talk my mind. Ladies and gentlemen, what we are witnessing for the past few days. <laughs> Man, I can't go from one to one comma. Uh, <laughs> <Don't you? laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what we are witnessing for the past few days now is the biggest crude oil theft in the entire nation, in the history of Nigeria. In fact, in the entire world, this is the biggest crude oil theft. And yeah, Peter will be really talking that time. He said, before you go decide to achieve crude oil, he said, crude oil is not before when they take food for pocket. They're not believers. Now, Peter, we don't expose them now. All of them, they run kitty kitty, they run kata kata. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to talk too much. I will show you videos, videos upon videos of how a vessel was discovered in our waters. When they say they take crude oil, government said they don't know, they are not aware. Navy say they are not aware. Police is say not they are aware. Customs say not they are aware. <laughs> How can that kind of big vessel be on our water? Tiffin crude oil for more than nine years. They don't know. When I start to the light to us, we not be children. We not be mumu. You people are aware. Because we take the collaboration of the government. Collaboration of the community. Collaboration of Navy. Military, custom, before you fit it good or yet. What I saw in that video, Baba, ne Baba, my man can't just cut and finish. You need to see how people they divert the oil pipeline, come plug more than more than six pipes on top. You have be like the way where they take the connect Nepal wire. Now, so that they connect to the mother pipeline to steal our crude oil. And inside the ship, they can't see vessel. Now the military said they are not aware. And said an investigation, I make them. But they not lie to us. Well, my problem is not that one. Thank God said they don't discover them. They don't discover them. Just like the case of the cocaine. When they said they discover about 270 billion naira worth of cocaine that was discovered by Nigeria and DLA. <laughs> and just like that day. Now so they still do this vessel. Now vessel when they discover. Whether not Tompolo and the Nigeria government now, they blast vessel. Let our government go to shop. Government is poor. Government is not get money. Government is poor. But whereas the evidence, when they will take trace of these evil people, they will just quickly quick destroy. Them. Secondly, government is poor. Government is poor. Government not get money. The, 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 the 200 uh, billion, more than 200 billion worth of, uh, of cocaine we wanna see. We are not gonna feel divert and convert and to, to the white of the government. No. The conscious video said that they born. Whether they really born, I don't know whether they're tired that they born. Because you know this Nigeria, they are magicians. Nigerian government are magicians. The video give us carton, they don't they burn carton. The burner they'll say we have destroyed the cocaine. Now I said this crude oil vessel where they see which day yet. Crude oil that can carry at least one million barrel of oil. Even crude oil is still there inside. I mean the vessel rather. 
the vessel can carry at least one million barrel of crude oil. And they say they don't blast them. Why don't you convert that vessel to government use? Hang on. Or oh, why you not convert the oil when they say, say okay, government not get, who now convert unto the wealth of the government? They not do Before you know, who boo boo. What are they not telling us? All they are doing is to cover up. Hang on. So that people not go come the point finger, say, now nah, this one, this. so that the investigation not go come uproot one top person for government. Uh, because there's no way when you take the government, uh, I mean, crude oil, the government is not aware. So that they try to destroy evidence. So that in case you come out and say, we are now, where, where the vessel? Where the vessel? Nigeria, my country. I told you people just start saying, I don't want to talk. Now, could I watch all the video? If I say, they talk now, they don't they display some of the pictures. Now, now, watch this video. You have two videos to watch. Then you'll come back and tell me your whole opinion. Is this supposed to be happening in a modern day world? Yes or no? I back as you watch and finish. Try and share this video. Uh, share this video, like and comment. Share it on group so that when people see it, they can drop their own opinion too. Well, I call you oh, Nigeria, my country, wake and see. I beg, where have they go? Oh, now this side will they go. Oh, sorrow. So, Baba, you hear of Peter will be interviewed yesterday now. When he say uh, government, they plan to arrest him. Because in Senna government, they steal oil for Nigeria. Baba, the man they write, I'll show you some things now. I did on board a unanimous vessel. I'm not going to like to mention it. This ship where they see so now, VLCC. As you can see, I'm a very large cargo carrier. Look out. You see the size of the ship. You can see the size. This ship where they see carry one million barrels, minimum. At least, one, at least. At least give and take minimum one million barrels of crude oil. Now there is something called there is something called the AIS. We have other all these things. Now they take track vessel. All these things. All these things. Every navy of every country in the world get these things. All these things. The moment a vessel enter your territorial water, this thing will see. The moment any vessel, even from, from like 1,000 miles in, from your from your port, the Gurusia say they come. All these things, they take and they track vessel. You see all those green, green things here? Now vessels, the way they come, the place where I did, they still they far. But this thing don't catch them, say then they come. Now, all these things, all these things, and all these things, now things say they track vessel. This particular one now, like this one, is called GPS, Global Positioning System. Then the other one I first show now, this one is called... This one are the AIS, Automatic Identification System. Now there is, you see all these things then? Eh? There is another one, what they call Long Range Identification Tracker, LRIT. -L now there is no other way, way ship, ship of this magnitude, ship of this size, to enter Nigeria, load crude oil, sail out without being noticed. And they tell us that nobody know when they come, nobody know when they go. You understand me? Already, the moment any ship does the approach your territorial water, the navy from the control room will don't see them. You understand? But to say navy no no, navy no know when ship come go, nobody know when ship come go, custom no know when ship come go, abba abba. Let them tell those tell those things to the dust now. You can how can you be talking to people as if say we we, we be we be as if say we did that as if say we be fooled. So when Peter will be saying our government they steal oil, nobody. The man they very right. So I just this small thing I just show you now. This one I just show you. Look at the size of this ship. Look at the size of this ship. How can something like this enter our territorial water and nobody notice her with all this with all these gadgets? This one our ship will ship will be this one so go there for navy control room go pass this one. It's off of such illegal insertions, wading through the crude stained parts. We arrived the scene and it's time for men to go to work. It will involve all measures just to unearth what is believed to be concealed. After hours of work, what do we have? 
Look at the three pipes here. Now you can see the three pipes clear here. This is the point of a suspected insertion and illegal connection. You can see there are three pipes here. The big one is a national trunk line, which is the Transfocados trunk line, a 24 inches pipeline. Now you see those two pipelines on top of it making um, a head knock on the pipe. Professionally, this looks unkept. This looks suspicious because it's tapped on top of a traveling crude line. And the question is, why do we have that insertion on a scraped top of a 24 inches pipe, double six inches pipe, traveling all the way, and it is suspected to be traveling all the way to the, um, to the high sea. This is what we have here. Those two lines traveling. Those two lines traveling and joining up themselves here to my mind, it tells me um, it will give it more pressure. Through several coordinates, the line, according to the security guys, has a discharge point in the sea. So we hop up back into the boat and sail off. Hey, the river that they rough. Towards this platform. Yeah, that's good. That will lose this knot and remove it. Is this about to become the biggest crude heist in federal government's bids to crush all thieves? Most definitely, the last shouldn't be heard of what security operatives here suspect is a major unaccounted offshore fleece point of Nigeria's crude oil. Olu Phillips, Channel News.